Hi. Um, as you can see, I'm making conversation hearts for Valentine's Day, and I'll be posting these on my website. But one of the things that I need to do is to have a single line font that works. And I, I made these with my regular fonts and then using the center line, which is under image, vectorization, and you'll see center line. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, I was doing it before, but I was missing a step, and I learned that in closed marathon classes. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to use the word flirt. Okay. Now that I have that, now I'm not sure you have to turn this to black. I like to do that, just be on the safe side, take away the outline. And um, what I was doing before was just going to the image, vectorization, hitting center line, and clicking on it. Now I know you can't see this. Um, if you can, I'd be really surprised. I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna bring it up close because it comes in yellow. So what I have to do is change it to black. Now, because I'm using a real simple font, this really is not bad. I could actually use it just the way that it is. But I wanted to show you the extra step that she taught me. Um, I'm going to click on the written word that I have here, flirt. Go to image. I'm going to convert this to an image first, which means it's no longer a vectorized file. It's just like having a picture off of the internet, like a JPEG or a bitmap. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat the same step that I did before, going to vectorization, center line, and clicking on it again. Once again, it comes in yellow. And I'll change it to black. I no longer need this, so I can get rid of that. So um, what I would do if I were you is do it both ways and see which one turns out the best. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these side, or actually one above the other, and compare. Um, and obviously, this is not something that you'd want to use if you're having a huge conversation going on. Now. What I'm seeing is this one is smoother. So it depends if you want it more sm smoother or if you want it with more of a corner. I kind of like the first one, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is tweak this to make it the way I want it to be. I don't like the way it's curved here. I'm going to eliminate that. And I'm going to take the line that it left, and I'm going to bring it, drag it down so that I can straighten it. Uh, maybe. It might be in two separate. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's the flirt for that part. I don't like the way the R is going up. I want mine to come down. And I want a little bit of a line here, so I'm going to go to my line tool. I have to hit escape because I just did one over here. And if I, I can't remember if I used it actually for that or not, but just in case, I always hit escape when I use the line tool. Otherwise, you can have a mess. So. I think I need to straighten this out. And what I'm thinking I might do, actually, I'm going to erase the base of this. I'm going to drag this over. And using my shift key and holding my left mouse key, I'm going to drag this down because I want it to be a straight line. And I kind of like that. So you're probably wondering, like, well, why would I even bother? Because this is a lot like the architect uh, tool, I mean the architect font, and you're right, in this particular case it is. And because of that I'm going to try something different. So let me go back out. I'm going to get rid of the second one because I like the first one. And it looks like my F needs to come down a little more. That's better. My T needs to go up a little more. Uh, well, Sometimes it's best to leave things alone, isn't it? There we go. Let me straighten that out. So that might be more than one line there. Yeah, so there's probably more than one line going on there. Okay, so let me move this over, straighten it out, and we'll fix that. Okay, and 
this is probably a separate line. That's what I, oh, that's what I've been finding on some of these. Okay, so what I see is this and this are the same line. So I just need to straighten out the intersection. Sometimes if you click on it that way, and I'll drag this one over. Okay, I can live with that. Um, and I'm going to put that in the white heart, so I just need to shrink it up. And this will be on the website um, under Holidays Valentine. I'm going to group that together and oh, I'm going to center it. Okay, so there's a group of, of um, Valentines that you'll find on the website. However, now I want to talk about using a different font. And let's try it that way. I'm going to type in my name, Vicki. V-I-C-K-I. And I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to look for a different font. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to use um, visual text spacing and see if I can connect these to make it look nicer. Okay, I like that. I'll weld that together. And now I'm going to convert this into an image. Okay, so now I'm going to try um, wrong one, ve vectorization, center line tool, and let's click on that and see what it did. Okay, let me bring my color palette back up, make it black. Oh, that's kind of nice actually, so that's one. And now I'm going to try it with just my vectorized image. Vectorization center line and let's see what happens with this one and we'll go in and visually compare them okay where's my okay let's look at these um, in this particular case I like the vectorized one so I guess it's just you know you have to play with it and see what works best for you because I don't like that so now what I'm going to do is join this together and this whoops let me get in close just going to look at the letter K and see what's going on with that bring it down slightly it's this section right here okay see this was a continuation here the way that they did that. So I need to smooth that out. I need to smooth that out. <laughs> I'm trying to get this over to this line here. There we got it that time. Okay. And now I will bring this line to match. Straighten that out. Bring this line. Maybe I'll bring it in closer. And let's back out and look at that and see if we like that any better. I actually like that. So it just goes to show, and I might want to tweak my C. So if you're doing something special and you don't have the, um, the fonts that you want, you could possibly do something like this. Let's try a different font. I may get cut off because I'm on um, trial software to be recording this. So if I am, I'm not going to continue it. You'll just get the idea of what I've done from here. Um, let's see what else we can find. I'm trying to find something different. And they're all basic. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's try that one. Okay, I'm going to go to Image, Vectorization, center line tool, click on it, and let's darken that up. Huh, what did I do wrong? Because it's still, 